Hello everyone, no respawns, hope you're doing well. So, on request, um, basically I did do one of these videos kind of quite a while ago, maybe six or seven months or something. And since then, my uh, the mods I'm currently using in the game and also my load order has obviously changed. So, upon request, I'm going to basically just quickly go through, as much swiftly as possible, my current mods that I have installed on my main game. So, this is on my game where I do all of my building. I do disable a few of them when I do my survival playthrough. But basically, this is everything I'm going to use. Now, as I know, I won't be putting links to these mods in the description. To be frank, it'll just take me too bloody long to find the things. So just pretty much as those you don't use the search function, you just use search and just put the first couple of words in. It's just so you guys know because most of them are pretty simple to be found. Um, some of them obviously will be limited exclusively to PS4 and some available on Xbox so you will have to search and kind of look out yourself. So to, to begin off uh, the first one and by the way just to clarify as well I don't actually manually change my loader that's quite a big thing so I have no problems with my mods whatsoever I do I've never once moved anything up or down the load order so a lot of this stuff automatically moves itself so if you're having trouble with load order just I don't do anything but this is just the default so if you want to kind of look how I've got my mods placed then maybe my default is a bit more efficient than yours for whatever reason. So the first one is the base game USO mod by Andrew CX. This is obviously a fantastic mod that just kind of gives you a lot of the the bigger elements of USO and also I've got my USO mod actually spread out over a couple because I know for I remember correctly Andrew has actually made a mod that's basically all of his ship put together I believe I think he has I'm not too sure I think I remember seeing that but I've never gotten around to installing that because he updates this one and I didn't want to risk losing items um so yeah that one's pretty standard I've got this one which I've never actually bothered using but it's by Andrew again which just adds paint boy paint jobs I just downloaded it and never used it so this is uh one of Andrew's kind of supplementary rods for USO that just unlocks all of the raider settlement objects pretty standard stuff uh, this is my settlement scrapping mod so this is the mod that I use for actually removing lots of the debris lots of the rocks you know bushes that I don't want within the game uh, just as a quick note with this one is that I do disable it quite often the reason being is within the USO mod um, there is a pillar and rug I like to use for my glitching and when you try and sink pillars in to the ground with the scrap that settlement mod enabled it has a habit of messing with it and so sometimes for example the pillar will go red and it won't be able to place it so I've mentioned this before um if you look through my video tutorials there'll be a kind of a further in-depth video on the pillar and rug glitch but basically it just it tends to mess with the glitch a little bit so just as, as a note you can base to, if you case you're curious if you disable this it just makes the items come back and if you re-enable it, it they disappear again so it's completely fine it remembers what you did so there's moddable robot settlers honestly i just i've never really i mean i've used this one but basically i, I got it for professor goodfields to fix him and i it, it did i installed it after much later in my save so he doesn't actually come back which is a shame However, yeah, it just fixes the robot workbench. Same with kind of dependency quest fix. It basically does a few things that allows you to fix. It's meant to fix, actually, what is it, the dependency. So it's actually the one in Vault 81. But I don't think I've ever bothered to try and use this. But I will eventually to have those guys as settlers. So this just adds uh, the USO Vault Tech Workshops. This does the Vault Tech Workshop stuff for USO. Pretty standard. Now, Workshop Turret Pack. This is a very good one. In USO, the, um, Andrew has put quite a few turrets. But this mod itself is really, really good. And adds is kind of updated quite often. And adds loads of different turrets. Um, just to mention as well, I just mentioned the start of the video. But for some reason, when you look at your mods through this window, it doesn't tell you what the mod dev is. So sorry if you're a dev watching this and I don't remember who actually makes the mod. I just know the name but if you google it if you search it it'll come up so this is custom vanilla assets this is a fantastic mod i tend to honestly only use this for the lighting now because it has the the lights on the strings and also uh, there we go it's um well it's not the estimate i can't remember what it is now um but basically it adds loads of loads and loads of stuff i've used it before i've got a video in it if you check my mods playlist as it uses various toggles, but it did get quite a lot of use, especially in the castle where I used the billboards, and it has quite a 
it's got massive stuff basically uh, but it isn't as organized shall we say it's a bit more of a dump compared to um the incredibly organized uso mod by andrew cx uh, so this is pretty much an essential mod for building which is only clear whether of the commonwealth uh, this is the the full version so if you look through you'll see loads of versions this one is for all areas of the commonwealth what this does it means that all of the weather is clear and great for building uh, those of you remember pre-mods back in the day it was an absolute nightmare trying to build because what would happen is is you you would have to sleep for several days to get clear weather and sometimes it wouldn't be as clear as you'd like so you'd have to build in grey weather i remember especially doing the far harbor videos i basically had to not do which is why i've never really finished a settlement there to be honest but also murk water construction site was especially of a bad one if you go back to my old old playlist you can see that i did a murk water build video and it was just rainy and, and shit so this is just very useful and you can disable it really easily again you just disable it and then rest and the the weather goes back uh so this is free maker which uh basically is another kind of essential building mod back in the day i used to purchase all of my uh resources from traders i didn't like glitching just i don't know it just became a weird matter of pride and plus i just had so many caps at this point it wasn't really necessary and uh, basically, this just allows you to make... This is by Andrew, actually. I didn't realise this is Andrew. Um, it allows you to go to the... Um, it allows you to go to the chemistry workbench and basically just make everything from junk items to uh, supplement resources. gives you 100 of each and loads of other stuff. I actually disable this when I'm playing survival mode. And I've actually limit myself to only personally using this for buildings for example when i'm currently playing my actual game game because you know, I, I still actually play my main game i don't allow it use it to get me for example chems or stuff like that it's only stuff that i use for kind of decorating because it makes it a little bit easier um so next is oc decorator this is another useful one that uh allows you to it's outside the uso mod and it basically is just for actually using you have to have a, actually have the item on you or within your workshop, and it allows you to basically just place a static item so you can, you don't get knocked over. Those of you remember, again, pre-mods when you used to decorate by hand, it was an absolute nightmare because one companion, you have to, I remember in my home play, I always told my companions to wait next to the door because I had a one nightmare situation where I think it was dance just ran through and just knocked over all of my shit. So this is very good for decoration. It's a bit hard to use because obviously it takes a long time and it's, it's sometimes quite fiddly but it, you know you get used to it um this is the dlc version and yes so this is one of my more recent ish mods this is uh the workshop decorations pack I remember this one is by aslam i just remember the name and this one just adds loads of decorated shelves tables vendor count stalls uh loads of stuff it just basically adds lots of really funky easy decoration that you can't necessarily actually build well you you can but it's really difficult to do um on ps4 especially you could probably do them on pc it's also just quick as well i like to mix this one within also using oc decorate to kind of make the stuff my own it's, it's a cool little mod um highly recommend actually this is the best mod ever um evers i love this mod it's dogs not brahmin it basically just replaces all of your brahmin that's uh, so all of your supply route but also all of the traders brahmin as well so people like um carla and people like that and cricket it just gives them d dogs instead of brahmin which is just fantastic one because they're smaller so they don't you know just take up everything but also they're quiet as well so you won't have loads of brahmas a brahmin just kind of you know mooing every five seconds it's fantastic plus they look cute we love doggos uh so it's just another uso mod i, I don't know what this one has in it to be fair it says oh it tells you so we go we've got loads of random so i just basically just download anything that has uso on it effectively and so see uso contraptions workshop same kind of thing i just download everything uh so this is craft minutemen guards in the workshop uh this one oh yeah this one to be honest i, I probably might just oh this one's even disabled as you can see i haven't got it enabled because i stopped using it so basically this has um that one as well uh, so this one has, in USO, you can actually craft guards now. And this is what I used to use prior to that, which just allowed you to place kind of Minutemen guards. There's also one for Brother to Steal. 
um, the railroad and various others. So you can still use it, but I don't because I use the USO version. Now, same with this sanctuary bridge fix, just fixes the sanctuary bridge. Um, I don't lose it because I just don't like, I like the destroyed sanctuary bridge for RP purposes. I, I just haven't uninstalled it. Uh, same with the Brotherhood Settlement Guards kind of thing. You see, it's got a tick. It means that it's still installed in my system, but I haven't got it enabled because I just don't bother using it. Uh, so this is a USO mod that just has the Nuka World elements. Same with the Far Harbor, so pretty straightforward. Uh, Railroad Settlement Guards. This is pretty good, actually, because these ones are a little bit different. They, they function a little bit differently to the USO ones, and the fact is they just, they work a little bit. They're, they, they walk they, they tend, no, they stand still, but I think they, no, they do walk around a little bit. Um, you can test them out. That I have them at the, the cast, I'm correctly. Sanctuary, no more hammering, essential mod that basically just stops the stupid idiots from hammering around Sanctuary like a bunch of absolute twats. Uh, so this one is just Dust Wolf in Sanctuary Hills Bridge. Uh, what this does is removes the, see, the bodies, Tarine and Blood Saint at the entrance of Sanctuary Hills. This is just a really useful one because uh, it just really annoyed me with that dog especially if you happen to take the clothes off the body and then the clothes never respawn it's really annoying uh, this one's War um, Warwick Homestead fix which basically fixes portions of the so the it fixes the bridges at Warwick Homestead so you can actually at the back where the tanks are you can walk across them it just looks a lot nicer and stops people falling to their deaths as well though I believe on this day that I still already have one of the characters there dead um, so this is uh, amazing two mods um, that were actually done by request, um, which basically add Finch Overpass and Grey Garden. I can't remember the mod dev now, bro. I've completely forgotten your name, <laughs> but it's someone who comments on my videos all the time. And name is blanked. God damn it. Anyway, two fantastic mods that basically just add the gunner style lifts to the Finch Farm and Grey Garden. I've actually used it already at Finch Farm, but I haven't actually bothered building in Grey Garden yet, so I haven't shown you that one, but it's really good, basically, it's really good. Uh, so this is USO that adds some Automatron bits and pieces. Uh, this one is a fantastic mod that basically adds a workshop player bed. So what this does is it makes a bed placeable that doesn't add to the overall beds in the settlement, and is one if you personally want to use it. So what I mean is, is say I had 13 beds in Sanctuary and I had this one placed in my house it would only be 12 beds in Sanctuary and it stops the settlers from sleeping in it. So it really bothered me. I always had Marcy wander into my Sanctuary home and sleep in my bed and it was bloody annoying because I don't want her whiny ass in there. So very cool. It also gives you loads of different odds options and it says my bed as well I believe. So just kind of a bit more you know RP. It's quite nice. Um, so what's this? No settlement attacks. This is a great mod um, that basically just remove settlement attacks from the game. Now, so you see the little kind of per little thing. It, it does basically, it might have a permanent effect on your save. So, for example, if I install this, I might not have settlement attacks ever again. It's worth to note that you still actually get settlement attacks at the settlement. And as you can see, is uh, it, it still gives you settlement attacks via Preston. So you can talk to Preston Garvey and still get settlement attacks. It just it means that you won't get so and so as under attack, which is for me because the I had so many settlements and they're all unlocked and they're all linked together. It was just becoming a little bit frustrating, especially you know, when I get back from work and I just want to kind of make a building video and I have to spend, you know, a third of my time running from settlement to summon. It's just a really pain in the ass. So highly recommend that mod. Uh, another USO mod just freaking wasteland workshop ones uh so this is the menu patch don't know what that does to be honest i think this what does it do really right does stuff does stuff uh so this is one uh, another aslan mod which is um workshop junk wall patch pack rather that basically just adds it's the one yes that's him um this one adds just loads of scrappy awesome junk walls that are quite good if you want to just very very quickly wall off your settlement they look really grand they're very easy to use and also they actually make some quite useful little kind of scenery set pieces as well same with this one here junk wall collection is not by maybe last it's a different one so basically this is really grand and has loads of kind of Bigger junk walls. Um, I like to use these two together. They're quite useful. Um, posters of the Commonwealth as well. So there's a newer mod that basically adds loads of posters. Um, 
like all of them. They're the stuff that you get in the Wasteland Workshop mod, I believe, with the, with the light, um, the ones with the lights on them. Except this is the actual one, so they're very very thin. Um, I've made a mod review on these, so you, you know, placing them is pretty straightforward once you kind of get used to it. They're very cool, and this has become. I pretty much don't use the ones with the lights on anymore because these just look a lot more natural in your home, and plus it has a wider selection too. It's a fantastic mod. Uh, this is more of a gameplay one, so I've just got gas masks for hel with helmets, just because stupid that you couldn't wear gas masks with helmets. Fuck's sake. Uh, same with the DLC version as well. And I've also got this one, which just gives me additional bisalistic weave options, because, like, I've got I've got for loads of them. The reason being is I wasn't able to put... just. It's really stupid what on pieces of clothing can use ballistic weave. It was ridiculous. So now I have it on everything. I got all of them. All the ballistic weave. Oh, it's fantastic. So this is a fantastic one called Makeshift Furniture Pack, which just adds loads of really cool tables and chairs and loads of stuff. This is fantastic because a lot of this stuff, I always, I try to say, I mix it in with my own bespoke elements. It also inspired me actually to make some, my own elements. So I, I kind of like replicate these things myself, but I make them myself so I can have a bit more functionality. But it's a really, really useful mod. Highly recommend it if you want kind of quick, scrappy decoration. Uh, so this is a recent one as well. So it's the Go Green Go Solar mod, which adds all of the, the solar elements, which is, is pretty grand. And I've been using that in Sunshine Tidings Co-op. And that is the last. So that's all of them. Let me just scroll up to the top so you can see the, the load order again. So I have quite a lot of them since probably my last video, but I've obviously, those of you who are eagle-eyed and have a better memory than me may notice that I've actually removed quite a lot of them, at least disabled them, if not deleted a couple. So yes, hope that's enlightening. I'll, I'll put that in the playlist as well, and obviously this hopefully will kind of tone down the many undeniable, completely acceptable, but possibly a little bit too many questions about my load order and what mods I use. So yes, anyway, Hope you guys enjoyed that, or at least just found it useful. As always, follow me on Twitter at no response. I will obviously have a new video up soon, and I'm going to be doing my first law video very soon. I'm writing the script at work, so hopefully in a day or two. It's really exciting. It's about Warhammer 40k. Let's allow me with my training wheels, yeah, because I'm trying new content. It'll be really fun. Anyway, you guys enjoy the rest of your week. Let me scroll to the top. That's it. All right. Okay, there we go. All right, take care, guys. See you.